Nolagent here at La Uzas by the track. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review vlog, we are visiting the famous New Orleans bar and restaurant Liuzas by the Track, which is a great neighborhood restaurant popular with locals and tourists alike. Liuzas by the Track is located in the New Orleans Mid-City neighborhood at 1518 North Lopez Street, which is about eight minutes and two and a half miles away from the French Quarter. You are invited to eat with me New Orleans food classics as first we feast on turtle soup, crawfish etouffee, po'boys, and huge hamburgers. Our restaurant review videos will be exploring some of the best New Orleans restaurants and this New Orleans food blog will show you how we enjoy our New Orleans neighborhood restaurant experiences along with one of the larger burgers in our travel search for best burger in the USA. Well, let's just go ahead and walk on inside and check it out. Why Oozes by the Track is noted for having some of the best food in New Orleans and certainly has some of the top food New Orleans offers for our restaurant review vlog. So La Oozes by the Track has a long history here and this location started as a grocery store. Jack La Uza opened this place up back in 1936 and it became a bar and restaurant around the time of World War II. This establishment has changed hands several times since the last La Uza owned it. Billy Gruber and James LaMarie were old high school friends who purchased this business together in 1997, with Billy Gruber being the creative force behind the current menu offerings. There are actually two restaurants in New Orleans that both are named La Uza's, and I have a review video of the regular La Uza's. I will link that for you to watch at the end of this video in the upper right hand corner with the eye with a circle around it for you to click on. Liuzas by the Track has the addition of By the Track to the name as it is right next to the Fairgrounds Racecourse, where New Orleans enjoys horse races during the racing season that takes place November through March, and then the Fairgrounds are internationally famous for hosting the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival during the last weekend of April and the first weekend of May, which of course with the pandemic situation, the horse races and jazz fest didn't happen in 2020, so the hordes of tourists that usually help sustain La Uzas by the track, along with many other businesses in New Orleans, were painfully absent. But this place stays busy with locals supporting this now world-famous neighborhood bar and restaurant. So let's take a look at the menu. So we have appetizers with a Creole gumbo, shrimp remoulade, shrimp cocktail, turtle soup, fried eggplant, duck tenders. Then we have some salads. And then we have our signature dish of barbecue shrimp po' boy. Then our seafood plates with a shrimp plate, oyster plate, catfish plate, grilled drum, soft shell crab, seafood platter, shrimp oysters and catfish. And we have our sides and beverages. And then we have our po' boy sandwiches with a roast beef, a ham, a turkey, chicken, an oyster, a shrimp, a catfish, a hot sausage, a corned beef, a soft shell crab po' boy. And then we have La Uza specials with a Reuben, a hot grilled chicken club, a garlic oyster po' boy, La Uza's house burger, breathtaking beef, and a half po' boy and cup of soup for a meat po' boy or a seafood po' boy, and then a kid's menu. So obviously, I started with the barbecue shrimp po' boy because it's fantastic. This thing is packed full of shrimp. Look at this. Super busy. So this po' boy is much different than most other po' boys. It's not sliced, it's actually just hollowed out in the middle of the shrimp or shoved down inside of it. And I have to say, it has actually been a few years since I last had this and it's drastically improved with way more shrimp than it had the last time I tried it. This is huge. Oh my gosh. This is also way more messy than the last time I ate it. And this little sauce that it's in is blazing, burning hot. I'm burning my finger. Oh, it's so hot, but it's so delicious. I can't stop eating it. 
but oh, my, my hands literally like frying and all of this delicious butter mixture that the barbecue shrimp are in. Oh, it's so delicious. And uh, it's also a little sad that I don't have very much bread left to soak up all this delicious juice. Now they cut off the top there so that you have a little bit to soak all this juice up with. But wow, I think I could use about two or three more loaves of this French bread to soak up all this deliciousness. Look at all this great stuff. It's just buttery, amazing deliciousness. This is so good. Oh my gosh, the flavor here is amazing. And uh, look at all the shrimp I have left over after finishing. The last time I ate the po' boy here, uh, there were just shrimp in the po' boy. I didn't have any leftover shrimp like this. So uh, this is a drastic improvement over what it used to be. And if you think this looks amazing, just go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it. And it would really help me with the YouTube search algorithm and help me keep making more great content like this. If you're having fun with it, I do appreciate that help. So I utterly destroyed the barbecue shrimp po' boy and I hadn't eaten all day so I went ahead and ordered the burger too because I was starving. So I just decided to do uh, lunch and dinner all at once. Why not? You know, if you haven't eaten all day, just go ahead and do two meals right in a row. Or maybe that's just my uh, interesting way of approaching things in life to try to get it all in film for all of you out there in one visit instead of having to make two visits. But I was still hungry because you know, one meal a day usually does not work for me. So, oh my gosh, this burger is huge. Uh, this might be the hardest burger I've tried to wrap my mouth around since I was at the uh, local goat in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This is uh, a close second place maybe to wrapping my jaw around this thing. I'm literally having to almost dislocate my jaw to get my mouth around this huge burger. I really was not expecting the burger to be this huge. Uh, this is the first time I've ever had the burger here, so I might have bitten off more than I can chew. I'm sort of already getting kind of full here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this or not. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a little weak here. My stomach is getting quite full. It's a lot of bread, you know, usually I, uh, Try to not eat as much bread as I've been eating in this feast. <laughs> so as we're feasting with me here on the burgers, um, definitely this is much higher bread intake than I typically like to do. Just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button right now for me and give this video a thumbs up. Just like I destroyed that burger. Oh, but wow, it's a darn good burger I have to say. The fries were also fantastic, but I couldn't finish them. I got those to go. My total was $32.73 before tip for that big meal. I came back soon after to get the turtle soup for all of you out there. And this is an amazing turtle soup. Here's the sherry. So it's turtle soup au sherry. You gotta add a little sherry to it because that does make the flavor kick up. And uh, who doesn't want a little sherry in a turtle soup? But wow, look at the huge chunks of turtle in this soup. This is definitely the biggest level of turtle meat I've ever seen in any turtle soup ever. These are the biggest chunks of turtle meat I've ever had in a turtle soup ever in my life. I am blown away and amazed. I have never seen any other turtle soup anywhere that has such amazingly huge chunks of turtle. This might just blow my entire perception of turtle soup away for any other place after this. Uh, I mean, this is such a large amount. Literally, I probably could have made a meal out of just this. And this is just the cup of gumbo, not the bowl. A bowl of this would definitely be a meal as big as the chunks of turtle meat are. If you're as impressed with these huge chunks of turtle meat, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it as it does really help me. And just like you destroy that subscribe button, I've just destroyed this turtle soup. So good. Oh my gosh, this was definitely a highly recommended item. Next, I got the breathtaking beef 
which is a roast beef po' boy with their special horseradish sauce on it. Last time I had this, it was prepared similar to barbecue shrimp po' boy. It was just hollowed out with the meat on it. Now it's more of a traditional po' boy, so this is a uh, another change and a little addition. I, I do uh, approve of this change. I think this is significantly uh, a better option. So I like it better this way than the way it was before. So far, everything has been drastically improved and been blowing me away. And okay, the breathtaking beef has some good flavors on here. I had uh, also requested some uh, Creole mustard be added to it, but for whatever reason, I never got that. I just ended up with some regular French's mustard, which I would have preferred the Creole mustard on it for even more horseradish uh, bite goodness. So, uh, it's a delicious bow boy still, and you can tell I'm having no problems at all. Absolutely taking down that full half. Now we have the second half. This is a pretty darn good size po' boy, and it has quite a generous helping of roast beef on it. With all that white stuff, it's like a mayonnaise infused with horseradish sauce. So that definitely adds some good flavor on it, and then you can see a little bit of the uh, yellow French's mustard uh, piece of big meat falling out of it. So we will definitely have our third half of the po' boy for the third meal that will happen when we finish feasting on this. As uh, proper New Orleans roast beef po' boy should have. And just go ahead and destroy the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to help me out just like I destroyed this po' boy. Now we're going to clean up and finish the last remaining pieces of it for our third part of the po' boy feast. So we didn't get quite as much that dropped out of as normal, but now it's time for one of these schooners of beer. So the beer here definitely is nowhere close to as cold as regular Lyuza's schooners of beer, which are crazy cold. Roast. But hey, beer is always good, so the total for this mill was $28.97 before tip. Now my next mill was crawfish etouffee with the garlicky fried oyster po' boy. And we're gonna add a little Tabasco sauce to the crawfish etouffee because you always need Tabasco sauce on your etouffee and gumbo. It's just a, a known fact. It's the way the world works here in New Orleans and Louisiana. All right, let's taste this. It looks fantastic. Oh, yes. Ah, mmm. All right, I completely destroyed it. Uh, I had a little more rice in it than I would have liked, but still fantastically delicious etouffee. And now we've got to move on over here to our garlicky fried oyster po' boy. And this time I also requested some Creole mustard to be placed on it. They forgot again, uh, but this time they actually brought me some Creole mustard. So that's the uh, only thing I really had any problems with here is they just seem to have forgotten my mustard uh, three times in a row at least. So with the burger and my po' boys, they didn't remember to bring it to me until I had to ask again. Other than that, everything was fantastic. But look at this po' boy. Fried oyster po' boy is a wonderful thing indeed. These oysters smell amazing. They got garlicky aroma coming out of them. Oh, and the flavor is so good. They're perfectly breaded and fried. Just wonderful flavors. Ooh, it's such a delicious, delicious po' boy. I do love a fried oyster po' boy. It's so good. Might be a little sad. I've only got a half po' boy instead of a whole, because uh, it definitely is tasty delicious. This is very, uh, very nice. It's been a while since I've had an oyster po' boy, actually, too. Often I like to do a uh, little half and half, do like a uh, half shrimp and oyster. So the combo fried shrimp, fried oyster with a little cheese to keep it all together. So I think I would have liked to have gotten some cheese on top of this to hold it together better, but I still polish it off quickly. But look at this, we have our third meal here with the third part of the po' boy. Look at these huge oysters. Oh my gosh, just perfectly fried. They are amazing. The breading on it is also good. It's full of garlic on the outside. Really great flavors on here. I mean, just the uh, fried oyster platter is probably pretty amazing here too. Wow. Yes, I definitely could have eaten another uh, half of this. Definitely the whole fried po' boy probably be in my future at some point here because the uh, fried oysters 
are quite lovely and exceptional. What a fantastic meal. Ooh. So, I completely destroyed all of that really fast. That was a really good choice today for that meal. And the total was $29.44 before tip. So, thanks so much to everybody at La Usa's by the Track for all of that fantastic food. And thanks to all of you out there for joining me on this wonderful adventure. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the little bell to keep getting notifications as we continue on with our adventures for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.